this video, I'm going to review this color control CC cream. So there are a lot of redness going on with my skin and there are a lot of dark spots. So I think this is the perfect timing to review this CC cream. So I bought this one from Don Quixote in Shibuya. And Don Quixote is a big discount chain store here in Japan. They are selling a lot of products. Originally, the price of this product is 3,000 Japanese yen. But I bought this on sale so I got this for only 500 Japanese yen without the tax. So there are three shades available that I saw there. But I only got this mint green because that's what I need right now. So here in the box, it says that that it is moisturizing, care cream, and it has SPF 30 PA++ um, Japanese scale of sunscreen. And at the back, this is on Japanese. So here, it just says here that you can use this as a primer, foundation, sunscreen, and skincare. And the ingredients and some precautions. So let's open this. I already used this several times. So this is the packaging. There is nothing too fancy about this packaging. This is just a simple plastic tube. Yeah. So let's see inside. So there is really nothing special about this. This is just a typical tube. So let's move on to the cream. So this is the cream. So the consistency of this is quite thick. But not to the point where it feels disturbing and annoying to the skin. And the texture, it do feel sticky when you touch it. Just after applying this, but once it settles down on your skin, the stickiness will lessen. And the color of the cream, as you've seen, it was green at first, but when you blend this, it changes its colors into brown. So let's test this product. So I'm going to apply this all over my face. Yep. And I'm going to use a sponge. And I'll just wet this. And I'll just dump this on my face. So this is the finished look. As you can see, my skin has lightened and it became glowy. And some of my dark spots were pleasant. And the redness around my nose is also gone. So I'm going to show you a picture that I made last night. So last night, I also did a review about this for the purpose of my vlog. So this is the comparison. So as you can see, the CC cream really helped a lot on hiding the redness, the imperfections. And as you can see on my eye bugs, the puffiness has lessened. So on my vlog, I also did a comparison with foundation on. So here is the picture. So the picture is a little bit tricky when it comes to my eye bugs. Because my eye bugs looks more puffy with CC cream and foundation on. But it was my fault because I kind of forced my eyes when I smiled on the camera. But actually, my eye bugs with the CC cream on look much better than with only foundation on. And you see, my acne spots look less visible with the CC cream. And the redness, especially on my nose area, were completely covered with or without CC cream. And the complexion with the CC cream on looks more healthy and radiant. My skin also looks good without CC cream on, but it looks very, very plain. And about the blendability of this product, as you've seen, I didn't have a hard time putting on and it was really easy to apply this product and to blend all over my face. And this product sets about a minute up to 3 minutes. 
This is my first CC cream, so I can't compare this with other CC creams. But I'm seeing now that this CC cream really looks good. So maybe if I have less imperfections on my skin, this CC cream would really look good even without foundation. So but for now, even though I have many imperfections on my skin, I won't put foundation so that I could test the longevity of this product. So I won't set, I won't put any foundation, lash on, or anything on my face. Just this CC cream to really test this out. And I'll be back again later. So before I forgot, the time is 9.34 a.m. And see you again later for the update.